good, y'all. El Famous on the check and living my life, not thinking about it twice. Super Saturday, you heard? You know what it is. Hey, yo, man. Big shouts out to my comrade, Boss Baby. Had a had an extravagant event, event last night. Shit was crazy. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Mano, Jim Jones, the Lobby Boys. You heard? You know what I'm saying? That shit was a extravaganza. You heard? I heard Mike Tyson pulled up. Everybody, you heard? Legendary in Brooklyn. My man, me and my man was up north together. Crazy. That was my comrade. You heard? My man, D Boss out of Harlem. You heard? Y'all niggas know what it is. Good brother. You know what I'm saying? Good brother, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? Came home, making it happen, you heard? Doing his party promoting, you heard? You know what I'm saying? My bro, doing him. I love you, bro. Keep winning, you heard? Hey, yo, man, this video right here, this story right here gonna be about Jesus, you heard? Puerto Rican Jesus out of Brooklyn, you heard? When he shut down the rucker. Yo, this, this shit right here, this shit, it didn't get me locked up, but it kind of did, man. <clears throat> because, because when Jesus came, pulled up at Rucker this day, and and and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a significance to this story why I'm telling this story right now. Because my man D. Boyce just had a party last night. Mano and Jim Jones and other celebrity guests that was in the building. But guess who showed up? Mike Tyson. You heard this Mike Tyson is in this story, but not in the story, but I'm putting him in the story because this, the story revolves around Jesus and him. You heard now everybody know Mike went down for whatever he he, remember he did that time in the Indiana. Right. Boom. So when he was in Indiana, he came when he came home soon as Mike Tyson came home. Right. The kid, Puerto Rican Jesus, Mike Tyson, one of Mike Tyson's good friends. You heard? Soon as Mike Tyson hit the street and, and, and got to his first fight, the dude, his main man, Puerto Rican Jesus, came through the rucker with the all white 600 with the TVs and the headrest. Yo, listen to what I tell y'all. He came through with the all white 600 with TVs in the headrest. The brand new joint. It either was 9.5 or 9.6 because we was in 9.5. Word of my mother. So now let me tell y'all the story. I'm at Rucker with my niggas and all that and everything. We chilling and all that. Rucker off the wall. Yo, so many joints niggas is coming through with mad. This, this was the years when niggas was coming through with disease and all that. You heard? And the Lexuses, the GSs, you heard? And all that. You heard? Niggas is coming through with, um, you, um, remember that drop top Lex dude had out there in Harlem? Niggas used to be coming through Harlem and that drop top Lex, that Pearl joint, before nobody had a drop top Lex at this time. Homeboy came, was coming through in a white pearl drop top Lex. You heard? You know what I'm saying? But yo, nigga at the rucker, it's all kind of shit out there. You heard? I'm sick in the stomach. But I really wasn't sick like that until I seen this shit. The nigga Puerto Rican Jesus from Brooklyn. Mike Tyson, best friend. You heard? Mike Tyson just hit the streets. Had his first fight. Yo, Mike Tyson is a real dude, man. He set it out, his bros, man. He When he used to come through, I, when I heard when he used to go through Brooklyn and all that, he used to set dudes out, B. You heard? I don't know how how many dudes or who he used to set out, but I know Puerto Rican Jesus was his friend, and he used to treat him like a friend. Soon as he came home, Puerto Rican Jesus came shooting uptown in that white motherfucking 600 bins with the TVs and the headrest, curtains on the window, B. That boy was sitting on everybody. Now, I'm going to tell you why he was sitting on everybody. Because Puff Daddy, was up at the Rucker the same time with the 500 bins. Black joint, regular joint. 
but it was the 500 bins. You heard? Daddy. P. Diddy. P. Diddy had the 500 bins, black joint, four door joint. You heard? I can't remember if Jesus' joint was a coupe. Or it was a four door. I just know it was TVs and a headrest. That shit was floating down 8th Avenue. You heard? Floating down 8th Avenue. Yo, I was on 55th on the corner by the chicken spot and all that. Everybody, the shit was packed. It was packed so much of Rucker that day that everybody was back towards, like, you know, when it's packed at Rucker, everybody be back. It be people still coming to Rucker and chilling. All the way back to 152. All the way back to 145th. You heard? Shit be jumping. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, this nigga Jesus came through in the white 600 bins floating. And this is why I say he shut down Rucker. Because when I seen him, I started walking across. I started walking home, B. Because I live not too far from Rucker. I live across the bridge. I, I started walking home, B. I said, I got to get me some money in my life, man. I got to get me some motherfucking money in my life, man. You understand what I'm saying? I seen Jesus, Puerto Rican Jesus, with that 600 bins flying through the... He wasn't even flying through the hood. He was rolling through the... Like, he was floating through the hood like a real spaceship. This is back in the days when niggas was really driving spaceships. You heard? Niggas was floating down the street. Slow. It's like them dudes that used to have them ill cars. They used to know the, the type of speed to drive and everything. B that shit used to be ill. You heard? Niggas was like, he was just like driving through. I said, I was on 55th on the corner, seeing a nigga drive past, then seen him drive again. 